The entire Dallas-Fort Worth area looked like a storybook picture this morning. Rooftops coated with a thin, icy layer of snow. The streets remained fairly clear, but that didn't last long. Overnight, police reported hundreds of major and minor accidents in Dallas and Tarrant counties. None of them involved fatalities. The real traffic problem last night, and the one that will continue until all the snow and ice is melted, is the slick overpasses and bridges. The old saying that bridges always freeze first is worth remembering when you hit an exit ramp at 55. For example, the Highway Department has reported the 183 bridge near Texas Stadium has presented especially hazardous driving conditions. Of course, this morning there were the kids who didn't have to worry about driving in this mess. They could get some enjoyment out of the weather. There are the creative things you can do with snow, especially sticky snow, and the slightly aggressive things you can do. But by mid-morning and early afternoon, the weather had turned uglier, with heavy snow and sleet pounding both Dallas and Fort Worth. Portions of Central Expressway and LBJ were reportedly closed for a time, and traffic on the highways slowed down to a modest 30 or 35 miles per hour, or even less. With all the slush on the streets, cold weather tonight could create a truly dangerous, icy driving situation, and that could last through Sunday.